Bruce, what, what did you think about that lead off and the way the lineup got shut Um, you know, just uh, hitting lead off, uh, definitely different. Uh, but you know, I just came out. Um, you know, sometimes first pitch of the game, some people just like to see it and take some. But me, I'm just like I like to be aggressive, and I know that's probably why coach put me there. So you know, I just had the same mentality. Um, you know, I liked hitting lead off; it was fun. I uh, just tried to do whatever I could to get on. And you got the double in the second two game. You know, that, that three run lead looked pretty big. Oh, that was definitely just phenomenal uh, for sure to, to come out early and uh, put some runs up. You know, we haven't done that much lately, and just uh, especially for Beeks, you know, he's just shut shut down every time he goes out there. He just does an awesome job, and uh, just playing behind a guy like that, it's uh, you know, it makes your job a little easier. So we just try to do whatever we could to help him out because we know he's going to help us out all the time. How frustrating is the first game though? I mean, it, it was frustrating for sure. I mean, we had our opportunities, though, and we just didn't take advantage of it. You know, Blake did a great job, though, um, you know, picking me up at, in that one inning and uh, just had a great swing, um, hit the ball in the gap. Um, you know, we would have loved to win that game, but it was good for us to bounce back and win that second one. Blake, when did you start feeling healthy? Uh, I took I took batting practice on Tuesday whenever we played Nebraska, and uh, it was a little sore since Monday was the first day for me to really try to swing since I heard it. And uh, after Tuesday, Wednesday came around and batting practice, it felt fine. And uh, to yesterday, whenever we hit, once we found out the game got canceled, it was fine. And today, it felt fine in batting practice as well. No, it, it definitely felt great. I, I mean, I got a, an opportunity, and I wanted to make the most of it. And uh, to come through for these guys like Trey Killian, Jalen Beeks, I mean, they go out there and they give us eight, nine every single time they pitch. So every single time you go out there, you want to give them your best. So it felt great. Yeah, they, they, they was giving you a lot of credit. I can't remember which end it was, but there was a couple of errors, and you had to pitch around them. And, and he said a lot of guys could have gotten frustrated and really, you know, had, had let the other team have a big inning. Yeah, um, I've I feel like I've always been pretty level-headed. I don't get fired up real easily, which could be good or bad. But it, luckily, it turned out good. Uh, I just put a lot of credit with Jake. I, he called great inning right there um, to get me out of it. Uh, I wouldn't have thrown the pitches that he called, but I just you know trusted him, trusting how smart he was, and uh, he got me out of it. And you, you guys had three. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, Bernal, you know, he came through when it counted. Uh, with no one on, you know, he made a couple mistakes, which everybody does, and then he bounces back, and uh, I think he made two out of the three uh, double plays, which uh, really shows a lot about his character, uh, being able to forget it easily. Uh, just a lot of credit with uh, my, my middle infielders. How good do you feel right now, especially your last two performances? Yeah, I uh, felt more comfortable than I have. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to go out there and, you know, I know it's cliche, but take it one day at a time, not get ahead of myself, uh, just trying to throw strikes. What kind of, uh, what was your mindset going in knowing you guys had lost the opener and obviously you didn't want to get swept? Yeah, I mean, I was in the, I wasn't in the uh, clubhouse for very long, but I could tell uh, it was kind of a stony silence. Uh, we were angry and we came out and played angry uh, and usually works out pretty good for us. Um, came out in the first inning with a little bit of vengeance in us. And, uh, I mean, uh, we looked really good in that second game, I feel like. Um, you know, I think uh, the main thing was just Van Horn was just uh, reassuring us that we can get this guy. Um, just mainly to have us focused, uh, for sure, just to bounce back and to forget the first game. That was the main thing. Uh, we just came out with a lot of energy. Um, you know, we just had a, like a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we, that's what we played like, and um, that's kind of what we need to do tomorrow, too. Uh, just come out fired up and ready to play. Yeah, it's definitely tough just because Trey's such a competitor and you want to do all you can to help him out and, then, you know, just do everything you can for him. Um, it's frustrating for sure, but, uh, you know, at the same time, Trey's so supportive of us. He's just going to go out and compete every time. And, um, you know, it's going to it's gonna come for him uh, for sure. We're going to do all we can for him, and we're going to battle. Pitch as well as you have and, and have the results you have to show for him. I mean, 
I feel like I get asked this question a lot, but uh, I mean, you know, like Spoon said, uh, you know, our our pitching staff is always trying to pick the hitters up, and you know, we don't always go out there and have our best outings, and sometimes they pick us up, and uh, I feel like they don't get enough credit for that. You know, uh, I think uh, that game is probably on my hands right there. Um, I do only give up two runs, but I mean, I wanted to go out there and compete, and I should have given up none. You know, we had the one nothing lead, and uh, if I could hold it for that. You know that one more inning, and uh, hopefully get Gun in there. Whoever wants to come in there and close, uh, you know they would probably get the job done. But uh, you know they got a couple CNI base hits, some ground ball base hits, and uh, in a tough situation for us. So uh, I mean I just went out there and battled. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's frustrating. I guess maybe not getting run support all the time. But I have faith in those guys. You know we're backing each other up all the way, staff and hitters. And uh, you know like Spoon said, I think uh, you know they're going to get the job done. It's amazing, huh? Uh, Jalen's, uh, he's having a great year so far. Um, what I like to see uh, from Jalen that I haven't seen a lot this season is, uh, you know, a fist pump every now and then. Jalen's a pretty, uh, you know, he's a pretty uh, quiet guy, modest guy. He doesn't really show much emotion. And uh, I think after, I can't remember which inning it was, but had a big play. I think it was a double play. And, you know, he came off the mound. He was fired up, fist pump. And, uh, you know, just like if, if I were to do that or if, Oliver would do that or any other pitcher, you know, it gets the whole team going. So that was good for uh, good for me to see from Beeks. Mr. Oliver, how confident Tons of confidence. Uh, he's got a great arm, you know. He's got great stuff, and uh, he's a competitor just like the rest of the staff, just like all the all the other guys on the team too. He goes out there, you know, he gives it his all, and uh, you know, tries to do what Coach Shorn asks, and uh, you know, just give as much effort as possible and, you know, get the job done for us. So, I mean, I have tons of confidence as well as the other guys on the team. Um, I'd say for the most part, just location, keeping the ball down, um, changing speeds, pitching backwards a little bit. But, uh, I mean, really, all I try to do is go out there and do my job and compete and, uh, you know, give our team the best chance to be in the ballgame late.